Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have a brand new deck tech for you, and just as a quick heads up, this is not a budget deck, although I do think it should be fairly easy to find substitutes for those expensive cards. But before that, just a quick reminder to please click like and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and every single click counts. And today we're going to be talking about Aragorn the Uniter. For one red, one green, one white, and one blue, it's a legendary creature, human noble 5-5 five five with whenever you cast a white spell, create a 1-1 one one white human soldier creature token. Whenever you cast a blue spell, scry two. Whenever you cast a red spell, Aragorn the United deals three damage to target opponent. And whenever you cast a green spell, target creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. So I love these kind of designs. Something about how they're one, two, three, four, really tick some boxes in my mind. And this is an absolutely great value commander if you're into that kind of stuff and you don't particularly like black. For me, black is probably my favorite color these days, so it's a bit difficult to build this one and not be able to include any of my favorite black cards. But what I decided to do is go for a pretty strong multicolor theme, so try to get as many triggers as possible with each of our cards. Because of this, you'll see quite a few cards in shard colors, whether that be from Alara or from Tarkir. There's also a couple of nice synergies with some of the other cards in the deck. We have a lot of ways to give trample because we're going to be pumping our creatures with plus four, plus four a lot, seeing as green is one of our base colors but yeah this is really gonna be a good stuff deck but with some very interesting synergies and we're gonna start off with one of the most interesting cards I found which is Agra's cost eternal soldier this is really sweet because it allows you to copy an ability that only targets itself and put it on every creature you control guess what Aragorn's ability with the green trigger is gonna give plus four plus four to target creature so if you choose Agra's cause you can then pay two mana and make it a board wide buff that's gonna give plus four plus four to all of your creatures and since Aragorn is also making tokens this is going to be great for finishing the game it's one of the best cards in the deck Aragorn King of Gondor is very flavorful being the monarch is fine because you get to draw extra cards and stopping our creatures from being blocked is going to be great to finish the game since we're giving out so many plus four plus four buffs Ban Shore Blade is going to trigger three of Aragorn's abilities for two mana that's an excellent rate and even if the creature isn't the most exciting it's still pretty serviceable Beast Whisperer is going to draw us a card every time we play a creature we do need some cards Draw, not much else to say. Bloom Tender is excellent in any deck like this that has a lot of colors, particularly since we have such a strong multicolor theme. This is going to add a ton of mana. Coiling Oracle is some decent value that's going to trigger two of Aragorn's abilities if we draw it late in the game. Late in the game in particular, green and blue are two of the best triggers you can get off Aragorn, so this is sweet. Fabor Elder is basically another version of Bloom Tender, which is already a very solid card in this deck, so having another option to add multiple mana a turn is great. Pelagio Wayfarer is a card I've been very impressed impressed with in my five color decks and it seems like it's going to be really good here too. It's going to turn on a lot of our different synergies such as Bloom Tender or Faber or Elder and it also just works so well with Aragorn because you're going to get four triggers off of a three mana card. The Convoke ability I've actually found to be really good as well particularly since Aragorn again is making 1-1 one -one tokens so this should be one of the best cards in the deck. Kahichi Honored One is another good way for us to finish the game by giving all of our little creatures plus two attack. It also incentivizes our opponents to attack each other rather than us, which is something we like. General Ferros Rokurik is going to pump out golems left and right in this deck with all of the multicolor we've got going on. And Hexproof from Monocolored is actually really solid because a lot of the best removal in Commander is Monocolored, and this is a card they're definitely going to want to remove. Glory Scale via Shino can actually get really crazy in this deck. It's not unreasonable for this to be attacking as a 9-9 every turn, and having a bunch of trample effects in the deck, in addition to Aragorn's plus 4 plus 4 ability, means that this can actually deal a lot of damage. Hero of Precinct 1 is best for Friends with Falaji Wayfarer and is just another way for us to go wide. Inga Enesica synergizes so well with the tokens we're going to be making with Aragorn and it's also going to draw us a lot of cards since we have a lot of creatures that cost three or more. Jetmere Nexus of Revels is a great card to finish the game with. We just drop it when we have a wide enough board and it should be lethal. It also gives us three triggers from Aragorn. Tini Fey works really well with Aragorn because we can upgrade any token we make with him when she's in play. Kit Kanto Mayhem Diva can mess with our opponents by goading their creatures. It can also actually give Give one of our big creatures trample by tapping two tokens in a pinch and that's pretty flexible. Kanaios and Tiro of Miletus is really sweet. It's going to give you more advantage than your opponents pretty much every time and it's going to trigger all four of Aragorn's abilities. It's also an incredible blocker. Maelstrom Wanderer is excellent value and giving all of our creatures haste is always good. Narset Enlightened Exile can actually be deceptively powerful in this deck. We're not building particularly around non-creature spells but we do have 31 of them so it's going to trigger quite a bit and we should be able 
able to cast off from our graveyard too. And the prowess that it's going to give all of our tokens is incredibly relevant. It's going to make it quite easy to close out the game when she's in play. Naya Hushblade is another really good two drop that can trigger three modes on Aragorn. Omnath Locus of Creation is just a decent value card. Replacing itself is fine. We're probably not going to get to trigger the second ability too often, but we do have quite a few ramp spells, so it can happen now and then. For Bean Boss's Confidant is going to work very well with the tokens that Aragorn is giving us, and they can also give our team a pump, and since we're going fairly wide, that seems quite good. Pippin God of the Citadel is a great way to protect any of our cards, including our commander, which is going to be a target for removal quite often. Rashmi and Ragavan is a nice way to gain some card advantage and get some treasures. It's probably not going to be casting stuff for free very often, but just having the option to cast it by paying mana is still really good. Rien Angel of Rebirth is going to give a buff to our multicolor creatures, which is pretty nice, but mostly we want it there so that when our creatures die, they get put back into our hand. So it's very good board wipe protection. Rith Liberated Primeval is an interesting one that you might not think is that good most of the time, but in this deck, we're going to be pumping a lot with the plus four plus four, which means that we should be dealing excess damage quite often to our opponent's creatures, which means that this can make us an extra four four flyer each turn, which is not bad. Storvald Frost Giant Jarl is a really solid card. It's super expensive, but it works really well. Once it comes into play, giving everything Ward 3 is incredibly strong, and then it actually makes combat very difficult for our opponents every single turn. Serac Dragon Claw is mostly there just to give our creatures trample, but it's also a decent creature in its own right. Theoden King of Rohan is going to trigger quite a bit with all the tokens we're making with Aragorn, and this card can get out of hand very quickly when combined with the plus 4 plus 4 buff that he gives as well. And Eowyn should be fairly easy to trigger in this deck since we have so many white cards for Aragorn, and then it's going to draw some cards and create some tokens, so there's a lot of stuff to love here. Moving on, we have Sorceries. Hullbreach is a nice way to deal with artifacts and enchantments that also triggers our commander twice. Inspired Ultimatum is a great way to get ahead on card advantage, and again, it's going to trigger our commander three times. Scrying two first is particularly good. Irenicus's Vile Duplication might seem a bit weird, but getting an extra copy of Aragorn can be really nutty in this deck. And Titanic Ultimatum is going to help us finish out the game or gain so much life that it's very difficult for our opponents to kill us. Moving on to enchantments, we have Broker's Ascendancy, which is a great way to buff our super wide board. Crystallization is so good in this deck because it's going to trigger our commander three times and then anytime we play a green spell, we can just target the creature enchanted with this and that creature is going to get exiled, which makes this card, which would usually be very bad, amazing in this deck. Elven Chorus is going to give us a nice little bit of card advantage and give a bit of redundancy for that kind of tapped add one mana of any color effect, which is very good in this deck. Garuk's Uprising should draw us quite a few cards because we do have a lot of creatures with four power or greater and getting more trample effects is really solid. Mana cannons can finish off the game very quickly in the right situation because we are casting a lot of multicolor spells. It can also act as targeted removal which is really nice. Rhythm of the Wild is going to give haste to our creatures or plus one plus one counters to them. We're pretty happy with all of those effects. Teamer Ascendancy is more haste synergy. It's going to trigger our commander three times and draw us some cards. Face of Abundance is also going to trigger Aragorn three times for just two mana and then it's going to be a pretty decent ramp spell. And Whirlwind of Thought should trigger quite a bit in this deck and draw us a fair amount of cards. For instance, we have a whole lot of charms, starting off with Bant Charm, which is a really solid one because it's interaction on the stack and two forms of removal. Boros Charm is going to protect us against board wipes, which is excellent. Broker's Charm is again two different forms of removal and card draw, which is fantastic at instant speed. Caparati Charm is one of the most flexible ones. It's creature removal, a team-wide buff that gives trample, which is super important, and making two bodies at instant speed. Those are all great effects. It being green and white means that it's going to work really well no matter what mode we choose. Flying Crane Technique is going to trigger three of our commander's modes and it's going to get flying and double strike to our team which can really end the game out of nowhere if our opponent doesn't see it coming. Interestingly as well we can play it at instant speed to absolutely ambush our opponent out of nowhere when they think all of our creatures are tapped. Jeskai Charm is slightly awkward removal but the third mode is so good that it's hard to pass up. Giving your whole team plus one plus one and lifelink can really swing a game in your direction. Naya Charm is incredibly flexible by acting as instant speed removal, instant speed recursion, or just a way to swing for lethal by tapping all of our opponent's creatures. And Team of Charm is another way to stop creatures from blocking whilst also being a counter spell and creature removal. 
Moving on to artifacts, we have Skull Clamp, which is going to draw us a lot of cards with all the 1 1 tokens we're making. The mana rig is going to be triggering quite a bit, and even though we don't have that many effects to sink the mana from the Power Stones into, it comes with its own activated ability, so that's pretty solid. Threefold Signal is a card that I love and I try to put into as many decks as possible, but it fits so well here because we have so many three color cards in this deck. And finally, Tome of the Guild Pact is going to draw us a ton of cards with all the multicolor cards we're playing, so this has always been one of the best cards I can hope to draw when I play these kind of color intense decks. So anyway, there you have it. That has been our Aragorn, the United deck tech. What do you think about this one? Are there any cards you think I shouldn't have included or things you think I missed? Let me know in the comment section below. I read all comments and respond to all of them too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care. Woo!